start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just out of range with that strike. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Back to the feet now. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just over three minutes to go round one. He blocks the punch. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Lands a big right hand coming. How good is that right hand? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Both fighters throwing heat now. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Boach gets caught with that punch. Oh, yeah, right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch from the clinch. And they separate. Straight right hand, no good. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he lands that teeth. Back and forth we go! Nice punch by Boach. Punch is blocked. Keep doing it again. Do it again. Oh, wow, you don't see that every day. Beautiful Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. Slick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Boach gets hit with a kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. It's the same story 
just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. Ready? Second round underway. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Big head kick lands. Real sneaky body kick. Roach's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Trying to establish that jab once again. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, you heard about the jab. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the... Boach gets the takedown. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from this position. Back mount now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. And they both stand up. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Right hand punch from the clinch. Starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. And just misses with that big right hand. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high punch. Oh, takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Straight right, he misses. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, what a punch. His misses are entertaining. He's gonna try to take him down, there you go. Oh, slams him down with conviction, man! 
All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Coach's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. 30 seconds to go. All right, has the guard closed here. Nice hand with this. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. Really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. That's a big strike right there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, single collar tie here. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus spits, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And both guys really throwing with authority. Blocks the shot. Just out of range with the big right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he might be out. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch the clinch. Connects with a right. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Punch over the top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body punch. Back and forth we go. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Anybody kick may finish the fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. 
Nice sneaky head kick. Big head kick. Well, he misses with the oh, left punch there. Oh, oh. oh, his opponent's got to be more urgent here. That's going to hurt. Got to get out of there. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Wow. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going forward. Deep breath. Oh, that up the side. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Effective punch there by Shore. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Boach. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Close guard. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Joy gets up. He is back on the feet here. Nice punch. Oh! He's trying to control posture here. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Just misses with the punch by Boach. Got clip with the right hand. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful legs. Ooh. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. Just missed with the left there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Out of range with that one. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice shot! Yes! That's what I want. 
trying to find a home for that right hand. Good stick. Right under the elbow by the deep land. Nice straight right lance. Just missed with the leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Misses again with a right punch. Oh, big punch land. Joy gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Very nice leg kick there by Bush. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got an opponent for very bad. Oh. Under a minute to go in round four. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that move the ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. I mean, how many can he take? Strike! Right. Oh, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Oh, that right hand is on point. Choi gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. How about that chin? Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Butch. Tags him with the uppercut. <laughs> nice loop and punch. Pretty good right hand. Well, missed on that one. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Shaw. Double leg. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground-and-pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop him. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right Moment. He deserves his moment. Don't finish his fight. Just misses with that one. Under three minutes remain in round five. Oh, needed the head. It's a good right hand right there. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice straight punch. 
hard shots landing on both sides here. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice kick. Oh! Torso on the right side, major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, nice hammer fist there by the Korean Super Bowl. And he's back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the getups. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to push him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a wave. On his back now, he's going for the rear naked choke. Job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Nicely done. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Close guard, nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Beautiful kick there. Take down attempt is good. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Effective strike there by Butch. Superman punch. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. Decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect 